Hello, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to do a bit of a vlog, just a bit of an update as to what I'm doing and what I'm going to do in the next couple of weeks to take my candle brand from down here to up there. And I just want to say hello and thank you to all the new subscribers. The last video has done really well for me thousand views in a week already so for me that's incredible those are the numbers i've been hoping of and dreaming of so just to do that feels incredible and i think that video just resonated with a few people and hopefully hit like hit the right chord so for me that is the right direction and i know i'm just sort of doing the right thing so i've got a day off work today so it's going to be a bit of a tidy bit of a reset and just a bit of planning for the next couple of weeks and so you can see behind me the place is a bit of a mess and I feel like it's in a constant flux and a state of chaos because I'm trying to cram in so much before work and after work so let's just have a look at see what's going on yeah there's a lot to process here but it will take 20 minutes half an hour to tidy up just need to get all the stuff off the floor all those candles boxed up all of those ones labeled all of those ones labeled and just a bit of a tidy put things in the right places where they need to go and I know what you're thinking, tidy and clean as you go. As a chef, it's what I do at work, but when I'm cramming this in before work, after work, the last thing I can do physically and mentally is spend half an hour to an hour tidying up. So what I do once or twice a week, just have a big reset, put everything away, package all the candles, label everything, tie all those loose ends up, and just have a good old reset. <laughs> I feel like rock music helps with the cleaning. The point of today's video is sometimes progress doesn't feel like progress. So on any given day, there's loads of stuff I want to get done, whether it's making candles, packaging them, writing articles, filming videos, and making things like that. Days like this where I've got loads of little bits to do, loads of tidying, loads of tying loose ends. None of it feels like I'm achieving anything. But that's okay because it is still part of the process and there's still stuff I need to do. And it is integral and vital for my business and for me to grow by getting all these little bits done. And it is just something I need to think about and take a step back and just look at the bigger picture. These little bits will all add up. And it feels like we're slowly putting winter behind us. Sunny days like this, the hope of spring around the corner. You can see the little snowdrops coming out on the ground as well. I love it. And I've got some candle testing on the way too. Looking good. And if this was younger me or five, six years ago, I'd be so annoyed. I'd be like, why is this always happening to me? All these bad things happen to me all the time. Never on anyone else, I'm such a victim. But now I simply just accept what is in my control and what's outside of my control and just try and make the best out of each situation. These things happen all the time. I just need to control my narrative and how I react to these things. It is a lovely day for a cycle. Lovely and sunny. Crisp in the air, that's how it feels. Oh, big hills are not good though. Ten miles, nailed it. Back with the car, significantly poorer. Now I am trying to find the motivation to get up and do something. Procrastination has set in. Time to cook dinner. I'm gonna see what's in the fridge and do a bit of a ready, steady cook amalgamation of the things I can find. And then after dinner, I've got a consultation with quite a big candle maker on YouTube. So I'm hoping to sort of get some of his inside knowledge, how he markets, how he got like enough sales and how he managed to take it full time, leaving his job and making that his full time thing. So that's quite exciting just to get an inside knowledge. And I'm hoping I can convince him to come back and do another video with me where I can do like a mini podcast where I just ask him 10 questions um, and just turn that into like a little series. I'd quite like to get other candle makers and other craft makers and turn that into like a little bit of a mini podcast, just 10 questions with whoever I'm speaking to. Keep it nice, keep it simple. <laughs> Chicken chorizo, tomato and red pepper risotto with a bit of feta. Absolutely epic sunrise before me. I have to excuse the bed hair, it's quite early. I've just woken up. But it's been a couple of days since I recorded a lot of the footage 
and this is just a, a bit of a recap of what I've done this week. I was hoping to sort of finish it all the other day, but I just ran out of time. So this week, like the sales in January haven't been great, but that's all right. January's always going to be a bit quiet. It's just kind of how it goes. I've maybe done like 300, 400 pounds profit on Amazon, which is all right in January. I think it's been quite slow for Amazon to add the inventory. So it's ready for people to buy on Amazon Prime. It's taken about two weeks, whereas normally it takes sort of a week perhaps. So just getting everything restocked for January has been a bit slow. And for me as well, just catching up, getting everything made, getting everything restocked. It's um, a process, a process. I sold a couple of orders on Shopify, so I think I've maybe made about £100 profit on that. So if I can hit £500 for January, that's not bad at all, not bad at all. I've been working on a few other things. So I've started a little TikTok account where I'm just documenting what I'm doing every day, just building in public, having that kind of human authenticity factor, which I think people resonate now because everything's so like perfect and airbrushed and beautiful. They just miss that kind of raw aspect. So I'm hoping something on there will go viral. The products I'm, the new products I'm sort of making have got that kind of um, wow factor, that kind of virality factor, hopefully. And I think those kind of things will resonate with people and hopefully pick up a few sales. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. And I want to try and get on TikTok shop as I don't really want to miss that sort of gold rush. It could be the next Amazon. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. And then just having a bit of a catch up, a bit of a reset, a bit of a tidy kind of plodding along with testing different waxes still as well to seeing if I can get the perfect sort of scent throw as I'm still not entirely convinced SCX wax has got everything I want so I think as long as we're making progress every single day even if it's small that's kind of kind of the goal as a lot of people who've been watching my videos for a while the consistency is the key that just sticks it all together so yeah so this week's been about content production marketing and just getting all the bits together in the right place so when i go full send everything is just perfect and ready to go all my candle recipes are done there's no like hiccups i've ironed out all the kinks so we can just go full steam ahead and plow on that's the plan so yeah give this video a like i'll see you in the next one